So um, we go to the CAC site and just type um, www.cac.gov.ng. Okay. So um, it will bring you to this page. This is the CEC website. You want to search for name reservation. Okay, you want to search for name availability rather. So once click on online registration, we click on public search. Public search allow it to load. And then we are here. What name do you want to search? Um let's search for Beam Global. Beam Global. We just search for this. In global you see that this name has been taken okay this name has been taken if you scroll you keep seeing different beam global names i think ours is about is is in the third page if i am not mistaken now if a name is available suppose we search for something like um, sammy gold sammy gold electricals search for it under business name we find out that it says here that search not found search not found you can see it here meaning that um, this name has not been taken no, it is happen. it is available so um now that we have seen it available the next thing is we'll go back and click on sorry we'll go back and then click on online registration this is to commence the registration now that is the name reservation now there are basically three steps is it three or two now okay there are basically two steps for name reservation okay the first one is public search second is to reserve the name so we'll click on reserve name now when you click it you allow it to load it brings you to this page okay brings you to this page now you want to click on sign up or look for where it is written register so um click on sign up and then it will bring you to this page okay to bring you to this page I need to put my phone on desktop mode so that if you are doing this registration on your desktop, you will understand what we're doing. Okay, so this is it. Here you enter your details, your surname, your real name, like your real surname, not your business name. Your real identity is what should be here. You fill in everything here. Choose the username you prefer. Put a password that you want, confirm the password you still want to use, and then your occupation, you describe your occupation, everything about you, your real identity. And then here, you want to select the type of um, identification, that is means of identification, is it birth certificate, um, is it age declaration, NIN, and all of that. You select the one you want to be identified with, and then you put the number here, if it is your NIN, you put your NIN number here i think nin is is it 11 or 16 digits you enter it here and then you click on register we've been registered on this platform so i will be clicking on register i'll click on login okay i'll click on login so when you click on login i mean when you've registered you 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 will receive a mail okay check the mail for your username you'll find your username there enter it and then enter the password um enter the password that you choose okay our username is um we use this you do the robot um i am not a robot and then submit don't click resend me click on submit here click on submit i'll click on submit now it will request for your password okay to request for your password so you click on password enter your password enter your password and click login you'll be logged in soon okay so um so this is it now when you log in um when you when you log in in this place it will show you um names that has been submitted 
the one that you have applied for, the, that is here, the one you've applied for that is yet to be approved because it doesn't happen automatically. Here is uh, for the one you applied for that is not approved. And here is for the one you have successfully reserved. We have reserved one name with this platform before, so that is what is showing here. On your own, it's, everything will show 000, okay? So you don't get confused. Now you click on new name reservation. New name reservation. It will bring you to this page. There are going to be four steps. Okay, new name reservation. You enter the name of the company. What do you want to do? It is business name. Please do not choose company. It will show you something more complicated. Okay, you choose business name. When you choose business name, select the type specific type of business um if you are more than one person running your business you want to choose um you want to choose um you want to choose um partnership okay but for most of us i know you're going to be doing business name um so proprietor so you choose so proprietor propose name now um when you're doing this, you're supposed to search for two names, okay? You are supposed to search for two names and make sure that those two names are available because um, they will make provision for two names. This is the option one, you enter the first name you want to use here, and option two, you enter the second alternative name, okay? Let's say Sammy Gold, Sammy Gold, Electricals, Gold, Sammy. electricals see just for the sake of this tutorial all right now when you've done that you click on save and continue save and continue okay now um, in this second place you are to set you are to state the objective of the business right the objective of the business that is the business category. Are you in, are you into makeup? Are you into real estate? Are you into um, hospitality? Are you into agriculture? Whatever thing you are doing. Are you into finance? You know, human resources. Um, whatever it is, you should scroll down here to find out what category best describes your business. Okay. The next is the sub sub category. Suppose you choose um marketing agency, for instance. Or you chose tech, you know, it wants you to okay, let's choose one here. Let's choose um okay, agriculture, forestry, and uh, fishing. Now the subcategory here, they want me to choose aquarium services. Are you into fishing, aviary? Are you into um you know fish and aquaculture, forestry? What is the you know just to narrow down the category, I believe you understand, right? You know, what kind of agri what um, area of agriculture are you into? Is it poultry farming? Is it, um, you know, just something that most describes you? And then additional remark here, you go further to just uh, describe your business. For instance, you know, your services, the services that you render and all of that. You include that here. In this remark when you have done that click on save and continue okay let's just um let's do something more real let's choose fish and aquaculture fishery i'll just leave this like this fishery then don't click back click on save and continue okay Oh, we skipped something here. Reason for availability search. You've got to cho choose a reason. Don't use um, change of name, no. Don't use group holding. This is for people who have multiple businesses and just want to put this in one place. Name substitution, uh, new incorporation and registration. This is what you should choose, the last one here. Okay, name incorporation and registration. You can see now that the save and continue option has been highlighted. So we can click on save and continue. And then... It will bring you to this page. Here is for you to preview to make sure that um, everything you have chosen is correct. Okay, to make sure that everything you have chosen is correct. All right. So when you have um, when you finish your preview and you everything looks good for you, the next thing you want to do is um, click save and continue. Okay save and continue now this is the place where you make payments you can see that it is just 500 naira 
to reserve name name reservation is just 500 naira okay but with um with um the um service charge and everything you may end up paying about 650 naira or thereabouts that's um total of all will be deducted from your account so when you have gotten to this place click on remitter remitter is a platform for online payment okay select remitter it is connecting to remitter payment gateway okay so like i said this is the total amount that you will be paying okay this is the total amount that you'll be paying and then um okay all right so um this is good and then um click submit just make sure that that is your your accurate um, details click submit and then here you are to enter your bank details okay your card number that is those um is this 16 digits on your card the expiry dates of your card and then turn the back of your card and enter the three digits that is written there all right when you have done that in from this place you are able to select um your bank details okay um the means that you want to pay with do you want to pay from your bank account? You select your bank, put your account number, click on pay, um, 661 Naira, and then it will be deducted from your account. You can use USSD code. You'll be able to, to make transfer. Um, USSD code, it will tell you to choose, and then you select your bank, and you'll be able to make your transfer. You can choose bank branch. If you want to go physically to your bank branch, this is the remitter code. You just copy this remitter code. Print the invoice, okay? Print the invoice. That is if you want, though. If you click, um, sorry, um, copy out these 16 digits here that is shown on your screen. It will serve as the account number you're going to make your payment with. Just like when you go to make payments in the bank normally. It will serve as the account number you are paying into. When you have done that, when you finish the payment at the bank, this is where you come back here and then click on print invoice. Is that okay? So um, I'm not going to be doing that. We'll be using a um, card. I prefer to use card so that the payment is made automatically. When you have done that, click on when you've entered your card, your bar, your card, your card details. Click on pay six hundred and sixty-three naira. It will be deducted from your account, and when that is done, you will so when you have entered mail, your your you pin, I'm um, sorry. When you have clicked and um, pay, it will send you an OTP. You enter the three the digits in that place, and then it will send you this payment successful. Next, you to bring you to this page, you click on download receipt, or you can choose to view your receipts, and then from here you can then you click on. When you click on your dashboard, it will bring you to this page and you will see that one name has been reserved. If it doesn't show immediately, wait for it. It may be loading. So that's it.